What is going on everyone? It's a bearded YouTuber and um, yeah, this one's going to be interesting. Toy Story 4. So um, I went to go see it yesterday. Roller coaster for emotions. I'm going to tell you my thoughts, um, everything that I felt about it. And obviously down by the title below, this is going to be my review. Potential spoilers ahead. Okay, so, uh, the plot, um, everyone who's really watched Toy Story from Toy Story 1, I believe, is going to truly get the emotional feel that uh, Pixar are trying to convey in Toy Story 4, so it's like we've all grown up with these toys, um, they're growing up just like us really, in a way, so they have to understand that um, the kids are going to outgrow them. Um, they've lived their purpose in creating happy memories for all the kids we see and everything. Um, there's also Woody being loyal to Andy and Bonnie, as you can see. There was a scene in the film where him and this uh, new toy that we get introduced to about, um, which, I which I will speak about later, um, he does mention Andy to this new toy, so um, even though he's still loyal to Bonnie, he still thinks about Andy and how, you know, we saw Woody with Andy in the first film because it was such um, a connection that Andy and Woody had before Buzz came in. So also, um, there's, it, it, going on from what I was saying as well, it's like, um, even though he's still loyal to Andy, he's still loyal to Bonnie, there are scenes in the film where it's like Bonnie's going to her initiation in kindergarten basically and um, she's told that she can't bring a toy so um, Woody hops in a bag goes to kindergarten with her makes sure she has a wonderful time it's tough for her at first so he's showing it even after four films so it's a beautiful sort of scene or emotion that Pixar are trying to convey. Um, also, there's characters that we see at the start of the film, there's both Peep. I mean, I've, Christ, I've been with Toy Story since about 1998 or 1999. Since my old man, he burnt for me a copy, and not a lot of people would know this. It's very, very old. It was like an interactive disc that you put in your PC, shut the old tray, load it up, and it was an interactive um, book, basically, that you could play on your computer of the first Toy Story. And just by that moment, I was instantly taken in. I was instantly drawn to, like, wow, these, you know, toys can come alive. You know, it's mind-blowing. And then it made me have that connection with my toys and think, oh, yeah, you know, when I'm going to leave the room, they're going to come alive and it'll be so cool. So we can create these happy memories. So, um, yeah, it was really emotional. So like I was going back to what I was saying to begin with, it's when we have grown up with these toys. So, yeah, they have to understand that they've done their purpose and they're going to move on, basically. Pixar did a phenomenal job in capturing that. They have to grow up, they have to go away and... Um, Bo Peep asks Woody to come with her, come with her, um, and yeah, I was crying. I'm not afraid to admit it because I've had such a strong connection to these toys ever since I was so young. And Pixar, you did a phenomenal job. I'm 25 years old and I was crying. So, <laughs> well done. Seriously, real really still hits here that first scene. And then obviously it kicks in to Randy Newman, You Got a Friend in Me. And I was trying to hold back more tears, but it really, really wasn't working out well. Um, so yeah, they were incredibly heart-gripping scenes. So, next one. Um, obviously, new toy story. We're going to be introduced to new toys. Here are the new toys. So, as I was talking about in the first part, um, Bonnie does make a new toy. Uh, a new friend and this is our first proper connection and this toy is a fork with um, lollipop feet his name's Forky 
He was by far my favourite new toy to check out. Um, going back to what I was saying with plots and how Pixar managed to capture the emotion, it was because when they did it in these scenes, they were they had this switch and it was going like that, back and forth to emotional to funny, emotional to funny, emotion. And when um, Woody brings Forky home from the kindergarten for the first time, it's really funny. He's um, afraid to sort of, excuse me, be, be himself. Um, so he just, he knows that he's come from trash. So he just goes and runs in trash all the time. I found it hilarious. Um, so Pixar really had a grip of not only my emotions, but my laughter as well. So that's another thing they captured fantastically in this. Uh, Duke Kaboom. So we see him, what, a little after, maybe halfway the film, I think it was. I was so gripped by the whole film. Um, and he's voiced by Keanu Reeves. Um, what more can you say? Keanu Reeves, Toy Story 4. Fantastic. <laughs> um, he has another emotional story as well. Um, when Bo Peep and Woody go and find him, and they go and speak to him, even though he was really funny, he also switches that flip to, oh yeah, I was given to a kid, I just want some love, I just want some affection. And um, he still thinks about his kid that he was given to. So it's um, another thing that Pixar did fantastically. Uh, Gabby Gabby. So she was, um, I'd say, the main villain in this because um, she wanted to do some naughty things to Woody. and um, But she turns out to be good in the end. Again, for the third time in this. Third. Third time in this. Um, they flip the switch to funny, emotional, gripping. It's like, why would Gabby Gabby want to do this to Woody? No, if I got hold of her, I would throw her against a wall. She ain't going to hurt Woody because Woody's my toy. And it's like I said, we grew up with these toys. Um, but another thing that Pixar did towards the end, it really had me like sort of going at the old waterworks again. She realises that she can't be confide confined into one place. So basically she has to go out there and there will be that kid for her and she does make that kid smile and realize her purpose as a toy to actually go and i'd say make that kid have happy memories because that's what toys do for us i've got countless memories of toys uh, with the action men that i used to get from woolworths that was a british um store that we used to have these action men, you could change their clothes, you flip up little things on their back and they flip up a gun. Those are the memories that I love, but my favourite toy that I used to own was a Max Steel figurine. I had countless memories with that, ac ma that Max Steel action figure, so it was fantastic. So they really portray what toys really do mean to us and their purpose for us as kids, because we don't forget them. Um... Let's have a look. So Gabby Gabby also, she had some henchmen with her, some ventriloquist dolls. Um, they really didn't say anything. There were just more noises and everything. First time I saw them were in the, uh, what was it? So the antique shop, that's it. Creeped the fuck out of me. Um, loved it because <laughs> it's a toy film. I'm still, so it's like emotional, heart gripping, crying scaring the hell out of me. Pixar did a fantastic job on this film, seriously. And it wasn't just people people probably, probably say things like, oh, it was a, just a fucking money grab. Oh, they did it because they want more money. No, they really, really hit me right here. It was fantastic. Um, Giggles McDimple. So um, to go into a little bit about her, try not to spoil it too much. Um... Woody, he's um, out on another adventure, rescuing Forky. He comes across Bo Peep, I think it's after seven years, and she explains that she's a lost toy. She's loving being out in the world, in the big wide world, and then saying, you get to just explore everything. 
because it's not just you're confined to one kid's room and then you go to another kid's room and another kid's room. You've got the whole world to explore. And she meets up with Gabby McDimples. She has a fantastic little toy that's uh, this big. It just jumps around everywhere. I loved her character. Absolutely amazing. And obviously, like I said, Bo Peep. So, um, it was really emotional for me to see Woody and Bo Peep reunite because we saw their relationship get stronger, especially within this film. And... Um, that's something I'll come to at the end, which was stupidly emotional. Finally, there was Ducky and Bunny. Um, they were incredibly funny toys. They were, you know, you used to go to the fairground or there would always be those toys that were sewn together by the hand and they wouldn't be separated. That those, um, that those, That's what those toys were. They were funny. They were engaging, especially when they met Buzz Lightyear for the first time while he got a cable tied as a prize to um, in the fairground. Um, they just said, oh yeah, we want to be one, we want to be one. Why are you that? Why? I was instantly drawn. Their characters were absolutely amazing. Um, go see the film. You'll absolutely love it, especially all these new toys. Uh, the next one. So this is where it gets emotional. The ending. So, the ending. Um, I mean, I could talk about this for hours and hours and hours, but I'm not going to. Um, I just think um, it was... The way they ended it, again, it had me in tears, just like the start of the film, but um, the way it all came together uh, I'm not going to spoil it about how it all came together and they included funny parts with more emotional parts again that Pixar didn't repeat it that it was like oh we're repeating that same sort of way we're making something funny or we're not bringing you something the same way we've done it the whole film before um, it's the way that it all sort of said you know what this is where we call it quits and um, that was a big step up for me. Um, by now, probably a lot of you have seen that Woody, um, he splits up from the gang and uh, I'm still dumbfounded by the ending. I'm still trying to process it, but currently I think it wasn't the right thing to do because, um, I mean, they weren't just Andy's toys. They weren't just Bonnie's toys. They were my toys and they were your toys as well. So, we grew up with these toys. It was like, ever since Buzz Lightyear first appeared on Andy's bed all those years ago, that's a new toy for us. And what are you saying? You know what? I want to be free. I want to be free with Bo Peep. I want to be free with her to just explore what I can, go where I can. And because Bonnie wasn't giving him the attention he wanted, he gave Jesse the sheriff's badge and um yeah that's how they split ways and i was crying so badly in the cinema Whew, it was bad so um that was a phenomenal step up from pixar i mean i just i again i still don't personally think it's the right thing to do because i wanted my toys to stay together they were mine and i wanted them all to stay together after this big adventure they've just had so um yeah, so yeah, I'm calling for a Toy Story 5, but um, thank you so much for watching. If you're new or um, if you're one of my subscribers, thank you so much. But if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Share the review around. It'll mean the world to me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.